What's going on guys? It's Revolutionary Road back with another stock pick of the week. This week we have Zoomer Media, stock ticker ZUM. Before I uh, get into this, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that this is a penny stock and it's an extremely volatile penny stock. So if anybody is thinking of trading it, just be very cautious and it's extremely risky stock. But right now it is exploding in volume and I don't understand the reason for it. They're just released their Q4 financials the last couple of weeks. I guess that could be the big catalyst for this whole move because they uh, reported uh, profits in the millions. So this kind of brought everybody to this company and brought this company to everybody's attention. So they're all investing in it. So before I show you the um, the, the stock and the, the chart and everything, I just want to talk real quick about the company. So this is the website. Um, it's basically a multimedia company and it's Canada's only diversified media company uniquely devoted to creating content, services, and experiences for Canada's most powerful audience. The one or the 16.1 million people aged 45 plus who we call Zoomers. So that's Zoomer Media is like, I guess it's like Baby Boomer but like with a Z. And it's the pretty much the older, anybody older than 45. So it's like a adult slash uh, senior audience that they're targeting and the zoomer media owns and operates media across all platforms tv radio print digital and all pr and also produces original tv and radio programming so they actually own tons of radio stations in toronto and as you can see they're they're located on campus in toronto's liberty village and they employ 200 people so i don't uh have much to say about this company other than it's been blowing up the last couple days. So if you look at this chart, I don't know if you guys can see here, but there's basically no volume in this stock for months. For the last three, four months, over almost a year, there's been no volume. You know, you can you can basically see this whole chart here. There's no volume. There's nothing. But then when you look at the last couple days, look at this. You know, it's for, it's it's insane. But right now, we're seeing this stock explode. And as you see here today, um, it, it kind of sold off. But you see these these stepping stones, and this is something that a lot of chart analysts will look at. Now you can see this going in this in this other direction as well. So don't take it as a huge indicator, but it's just something to show you that it's getting uh, a lot of buying support, and the resistance levels are there. So it doesn't it's not falling below a certain price now. It's not just a pump and dump. There are a lot of actual buyers in this, and there's not a lot of sellers. But when you look at the overall chart, you can see that the amount of buyers is way more than the amount of sellers, right? But that's not the only thing that should indicate whether a stock is going to up or down, because that can all change. All these buyers can turn to sellers tomorrow if they don't see the stock producing. So it's just something to keep in mind. But I would definitely keep this stock on your radar. It's something that I think can explode in the next couple of days, especially with the volume. Like when you start to look at the volume, you know, we're, we're talking about 10 million, 10 million volume in, in a penny stock. That's insanity. And it's only really been the last couple of days. Like I said, the last three or four days that you've seen um, through the weekend. So since Friday, Thursday and Friday of last week, we saw some volume and it's continued into this week, which is why I'm bringing it to your guys' attention and why I think you should keep it on your radar. If we see another move in the morning where it starts to go up 3 or 4%, you're going to see a big move. And this company could jump up to, you know, upwards of a dollar. Like if you look at the where where the company's come from, it used to be trading somewhere in the dollar range, right? Like way back when it first started trading um or even before. I think this company only existed since 2008. So Essentially, it probably took over another ticker or it bought out another company. And this is when you see um, this company. So their, their, their high has been 37 cents. Um, so, it, you know, it's not an incredible, you know, it's not going to blow through the roof. But even a move from 16, what it's at now, to 37 is a 140% increase, 130% increase, right? So these are just small moves to make it's a swing trade i don't know if i would be investing in this company 100 percent. although i don't know it, it might be a great investment because it has so much volume right now and it's a company that i think has a great target audience and like it uh, explains in its breakdown for investors the uh the, its client base 
are the the largest shareholders or the largest uh, contributors to the stock market, right? So that's where like they come in with their with their financial power is that they cater to the 45 plus population, which controls 70% of the nation's wealth and accounts for 60% of all consumer spending, right? And uh, it says they talk about how it also controls 60 to 70% of all of the stock market activity. So a lot of the people that are investing in this company are people that either have a lot of capital or they're people that love a lot of the businesses. So the radio stations, the uh, television programs, the TV stations, the advertising, the marketing that this company does, and the, the multimedia services. This is all catered to a certain audience, and these this audience has a lot of financial power. So that means they're going to be able to support this company. And once people start to recognize it and start to see it and start to, you know, want to invest in it, they're the kind of people that have the capital to invest. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring it to you guys real quick and just uh, kind of keep it on your radar. I don't necessarily think this is 100% something you guys need to go out and, and invest in right now. But if you are if you watch this video in the next week or so, you should really keep this stock on your radar. And if this volume keeps up, if we have another 10, 20 million volume day, then this stock is going to keep flying. And I think you should keep it on your radar. Like I said, swing trade it. If it does fly, if it goes up to 40 cents in the next couple of days, sell it sell it off um, take your profits take your profits and be happy so that's kind of all I want to talk about with this stock because I don't necessarily know too much about it I said its founder is this guy uh, named Moses Zanam Namer I think is it Zanamer or it's Namer Moses Namer I'm not sure um, I think this is a silence so Moses Namer is the best known as the co-founder of City TV, CP24, Much Music, Bravo, Space and dozens of other popular television channels and stations and now is a champion of the most powerful audience in Canada the 16.1 million people age 45 plus Moses is the founder and president of CEO of Zoomer Media and president of CARP so this guy has a lot of experience in television and broadcasting it's some of the biggest stations in Canada he has been the co-founder of and he has been involved with a large large amount of media networking so that means that he has a lot of contacts in this in these spaces which means he can move around them and get a lot of support a lot of investors he can bring his name to a lot of people's attention and he and they bought out a lot of companies they own a lot of companies I, I don't know if I can get the the complete listing but um, uh, let's get, see if I can get get a just a quick listing of the of the ones that they own. Um, so let's check out their their Wikipedia and we'll see. So yeah, so do do do. This was formed in December two thousand seven, following Namer's acquisition and merger of Keemer Publishing, publishers of Cart Magazine and website operator Fifty Plus. Um, oh, so CARP stands for the Canadian Association of Retired Persons, of which Namers is the executive director, so he has a huge uh, network. So down here is some of the stations that the group owns. So classic media, music radio stations, CVMZ, FM, CFMX, FM, adult standards stations, CFZM. Uh, they own a bunch of TV stations, Vision TV, One Body, One Mind. Um, they have a lot of shares in uh, Canadian Radio Television and Telecommunications Commission and own 69% uh, combined company and insurance company Fairfax Financial owns 28% so them and, and Fairfax Financial are essentially the largest shareholders of Canadian Radio Television and uh, Telecommunication Commission So they're kind of like the regulators. So this is kind of interesting. They're actually like pretty much involved with a lot of conservative politics and they're also regulating the industry. So these guys have a lot of political and financial power. That's one of the reasons why I think this stock is extremely volatile, but it's also 
very interesting. And if you guys are interested in maybe throwing a couple hundred bucks in a stock where you just want to see some cr crazy gains in the next couple weeks or the next couple months, if this volume keeps up, keep it on your radar, guys. And I'm telling you, this stock is something else. It doesn't happen every every now and then you get volume like this on a on a stock as cheap as it is. So that's one of the reasons why I like to bring it to you guys as quickly as I can. Uh, I actually kind of was kicking myself because I saw this blowing up last Friday, but I was like, oh, I don't know if that volume is going to maintain. And then this morning I went on and it, I was like, wow, it's still got the same volume and I missed the big jump. So I knew if I waited for it to drop, as it did at the end of the day, we might see another um, huge volume day tomorrow and, and the stock could spike again. So we're going to see what happens and uh, ho hopefully you guys can make some money or hopefully you guys can learn something from this stock and from these videos that I put out. Uh, thanks for listening and if you have any stocks that you want me to take a look at or if you have any questions for the channel, feel free to leave them below. Like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you guys in the next video.